Hello, I'm Phil Svitek, 360 Creative Coach, and in this episode, I want to discuss the idea of taking something negative within your life and focusing to make it better immediately. And you'll see what I mean by this as I expand upon it. But before I do, I would like to take the opportunity to invite you to subscribe if you haven't already, that we get all the various lessons and episodes that I put out right when I put them out. Thank you if you just did, and thank you if you already were. It truly does mean a lot to me, as I hope it does to you. So, let's get into this. The two kind of prime examples I can think of, of taking a negative and immediately focusing on it to fix it, that are, you know, uh, let's say, more common or the most common that I can think of, as well as relatively dire, is sickness and getting fired, okay? So let's take sickness first, right? You know, for me, whenever I get sick, uh, you know, and generally that's the common cold or the flu, I make it my mission to get healthy again, right? I shut down everything and, and, and just do the bare minimum that I have to to get better. Now, I understand the bare minimum can mean different things for different people, right? And I understand that it is uh, a luxury to be able to say that and afford that in that way. But, you know, really think about what you actually need to get done in a certain situation like that. So that way you can get better. Because I know for me, uh, when I'm at full health, I'm able to be a lot more productive than rather than just kind of soldiering through and trying to get things done while I'm sick. That's why I say, you know, it's identify what is the absolute bare minimum that I can do. And in that way, I try to look for, okay, what are things that I can potentially offload, you know, ask for help on, uh, things of that nature, right? So that way I can get better. Now, I understand, you know, the example that I'm giving is a matter of a couple of days, generally, right? So, you know, it's a little bit different and it's not fully applicable to, you know, God forbid, a, a, a more serious illness in that way. But to a degree, yes, because, you know, when you're in that situation, your priorities obviously have to change and you want to be able to focus more on your health to try to recover or, or give yourself the best quality of life possible, right? Um, it, it's beyond the scope of this particular episode to be able to like fully go into that but that's the general idea um overall right you know it, it i think we overcomplicate things sometimes and that's why i try to keep it very baseline of okay what's what's the action step right the other aspect of this is when you get fired now i've been in a situation where i've coached multiple people through scenarios like this and certainly there is and should be a period of, you know, grieving because, you know, you, you had something and then all of a sudden it went away and you have to feel your feelings, whatever that may be, sadness, anger, whatever. And in fact, right, when, we, when I talk about the idea of, uh, you know, focusing and, be, and, and so forth, that's part of it, right? It's not just switching and then going into the next thing, which I'm going to talk about. No, it's... First, okay, let me process those emotions of what happened so that way you can move on. And part of that is, you know, speaking with people, maybe going to therapy, whatever. But, you know, in my experience, you know, by by allowing people to do that within 24 to 48 hours, they're able to really feel what they might have otherwise been suppressing and then get into phase two, which is making it their job to now find a job, right? And when they look at it in that way, rather than, you know, sleep till noon, all of a sudden and so forth, like, and lament over something and and, and get into negative behavior, they refocus and look at it as an opportunity rather than a negative, right? And, you know, for me... The fact that and I've been in a situ- I've been in situations like this before, right? So I can say it from my own experience. And you know, people ask me all the time, like, how 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 did you just do that? How did you how did it just click for you? And I said, 
for me, it's like, what other choice do I have? Right? Um, you know, even with a safety net of savings and things like that, you know, obviously no one really wants to tap into that unless they really have to, right? And so after processing your emotions, you know, just shift the gear and all of a sudden do it. And it, most of life, as I experience it, it really is just about choices, right? A or B, maybe sometimes multiple choices, whatever it is, but just that decision, that intention to, you know, what, what are you going to do in that moment? You know, it's like that famous quote. I, I, I forget who, um, who said it. Um, and I apologize for that because, because it just came to me now, but you know, life is 10% of what happens to you, 90% of how you react to it. And I find that to be very true. Right. And so in that way, when we think about what happens and how you react to it, reaction really is all about choices, right? So what choice are you going to make when something negative happens in your life? That's really what we're talking about here. And that's why having that intention of, you know, whether it's sickness, you get sick, make it your job to get better. When you lose a job, make it your job to, to get a job. You know, and in that sense, you could structure it where, you know, you don't make this like a 20 hour a day thing. But, you know, if, if you were working from nine to five, great. Now from nine to five, it will be your job to find a job. And, you know, part of that is whatever that might entail. Maybe you have to put your update your website. You have to put your portfolio portfolio together or update it. What are all these different things, you know, your resume, your cover letters and so forth. Right all these assets that go into that, you know, go, go into it. Right. And so part of it is could be taking meetings and whatever else, but, um, this is, this is in my mind what it takes. Again, it just, to me, it becomes a very simple, what other option do I have? Cause I can either lament about it and yes, pick up extremely negative habits and so forth, but that doesn't get me out of my current situation. Right. Um, and I, I'm a big advocate of, okay, just having forward momentum. You know, I, I, I'll give you an example in this way. I talk to uh, actors, you know, I say to them, you know, their number one complaint starting off is they're not getting auditions or they're not booking the auditions that they are getting. And my thing to them, so, so make your own stuff, right? And I say that's the same thing to filmmakers and so forth. Like just, just go create. Same thing with hosts. If they're not if they're not getting booked on stuff, just host your own stuff, because then at least you're out there publicly in some sort of way, and people can see that you're doing something. And going back to the idea of your portfolio, you can add that within your portfolio. People can see like, oh wow, now this person's really dedicated. So it's really what the crux of the lesson is: is to not stay in that negative too long. You know, uh, obviously, uh, don't dismiss it, right? Because then you're just bypassing it and that doesn't help. Acknowledge it, but then make that choice to, okay, now what are we going to do about it, right? And so I gave you two examples, but um, the challenge I want for you is to comment down below and think of how this idea can apply to other scenarios, maybe ones that have already happened to you or just, you know, just theoretical ones that could happen to anybody, right? That's my challenge to you. Comment down below or hit me up on social media at Phil Svitek. Also, uh, if you appreciate what I do and think that I can be a benefit to you in some capacity and want to interact more directly, well, check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash Phil Svitek. It allows us to connect in those deeper ways. Um, likewise, if you appreciate what I do, you know, obviously I am an uh, artist, and have books and a movie out and so forth. Well, all of that is linked down below in the description box. Supporting that stuff helps support this because it's symbiotic, right? By me doing that stuff, it helps inform this. Therefore, I can share the lessons learned. So um, any of those ways is an opportunity for you to support me if you so choose to. Thank you so much. I appreciate you and hope to see you next time.